I am now blocked and on another continent from the person I want to spend the rest of my life with and just left wondering without even a chance to speak. what's going on everybody hope everybody's feeling good hope everybody's doing well we are back with another story post guys i'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out but you guys read the title let's just get into it so how can you reassure someone who's been betrayed seeking support validation my boyfriend has been cheated on in all his past relationships it is something that ruined his parents marriage too it's a big issue in his life in ours i too betrayed him in the very beginning by initiating an intimate talk with my ex after an argument about his relationship with his ex no excuse in my behavior whatsoever or keeping some people still in my contacts with whom i've had something going on with in the past Nothing more than keeping them in my network on social media, not having chats deleted. It was awful, selfish, and inconsiderate of me. Although at the time, I was out of a long-term relationship and didn't even think this one would develop into anything. Nonetheless, his trust in the relationship was broken by this and seems there is no going back. Almost two years later, with many ups and downs mainly triggered by this trauma, we decided to take some time physically apart so that we can both work on being healthier individuals and reestablish a healthy relationship. It was initiated by him finding, finding years old intimate pictures on my drive with my ex, which I didn't know were there. Nonetheless, this was a tipping point for him. After spending several amazing months together since he took the decision, he left for another, another continent and we both planned on staying together, but focusing on ourselves, both struggling with some mental health issues, codependency, and others. Recently, he made a LinkedIn account to help with finding work. Once he added me, I went on to review my network. Just make sure there isn't anyone there who would trigger such a situation again, and removed one person. My boyfriend is someone I want to have a family with, and I am there for the long run. So after a few major F-ups, the last thing I want is another reason for him to feel betrayed. A few days later, I woke up to a text by my boyfriend saying he just got this person and suggested on LinkedIn. Apparently, the algorithm shows you what your connections look at. And this is the end between us because I am a bad person with no self-control. Asking me to not contact him or anyone he knows and blocked me everywhere. This has been a complete shock to me, has left me wondering what to do. For a person whose trust has been betrayed, this probably seems like I have done something wrong behind his back to cause such a reaction. I am now blocked and on another continent from the person I want to spend the rest of my life with and just left wondering without even a chance to speak. I apologize in advance if this is not the right place to search for advice, but I am completely lost on what to do here. I want to show my partner he is and will always be the only one I need and want. I have been trying to do this actively in many ways, but it doesn't seem to work or be remembered when we are apart. Do I accept this is over and let us both move on, although I know in my heart I was and still am willing to do all I can to make it work. How do you approach someone who's been hurt like this and show them they are, are and always will be enough? Is this something he may realize is not so hurtful and he would contact me back? This is a total shock for me and I am completely panicking that I will never talk to the love of my life again. I just want to know how to rebuild out a relationship and make sure he's completely aware of the fact he is enough and he is more than loved. Please help. Wow, let me give my thoughts. Look, 
That man is getting sign after sign after sign after sign. Leave you alone. But like, you guys had an argument earlier in a relationship and you decided to to cheat, basically. Was it, was it emotional cheating or whatever? Cheating is cheating. He should have just let you go there. But he decided to stick around and just things just kept popping up and pictures and text messages and people on social media that you wouldn't you couldn't let go you're not even ready to move on you said yourself you didn't even think this was going to work out with him you you just thought you were just doing it because you were in a long term relationship before and you just thought this was hey just a little uh rebound relationship and eventually you'll go back to someone else but it turned out to be something else but you still won't let go of your past. Look, you guys just aren't meant to be together. It is what it is. The signs are there. Okay, the signs are there. Guys, let's check out the comments. Unfortunately, he has been damaged in the past. That's not taken action to help himself heal. Someone said, I don't believe you're a wayward partner, OP. I definitely see hints of retroactive jealousy from them. That can be a serious red flag on top of being called a, a whore with no control. No one, and I mean no one, deserves that sort of treatment. I agree, it seems toxic. He doesn't seem like a healthy or safe partner. Please reconsider. Honestly, I get that you feel deeply for your boyfriend, but it doesn't sound like you cheated. Your boyfriend doesn't sound mentally healthy. Wow, they're going in on him. Let's, let's, let me look back at something real quick. In hours two, I betrayed him in the very beginning by initiating an intimate talk with my ex after an argument about his relationship with his ex. That's cheating. To me, that's cheating. He should have left then and there. You know, we have a little argument and you go run and have an intimate talk with your ex who you, who you were in a long term relationship with. I'm willing to bet she slept with her ex while she was with his boyfriend. So they're going in on him in the comments. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Is the boyfriend just nuts? Is he just crazy and just you know, just living in fear, or do you think this woman is just not good for him? He was receiving all these red flags, and he's just like, nah, I can't, and blocked her everywhere. Guys, let me know in the comments. I'll catch you guys at the next one. Surviving Infidelity She found out I moved on, and rant it's been almost five months since d-day after some of the worst days of my life where i was getting hospitalized for panic attacks i woke up one day and decided to unfollow her on instagram and start no contact there you go why she kept posting him they kept flirting in the comments and i was getting triggered and going into shock since that day i've been doing great for myself I was able to move past the anger and hatred and all that, even be friendly if she were to ever text me. Up until today, she finds out I'm seeing someone else and she hits me with this. I just noticed you removed me on Instagram. I guess your new little princess doesn't approve of my existence. I hope she will handle your sleepless nights and paranoia episodes. Drive to you at 3 a.m. like I did, LMAO. That's why you kept me on Twitter and WhatsApp. Because she's not there, no? Anyway, I apologize for texting you earlier. I promise to stay out of the way from now on. And I'm sorry for any damage I caused earlier. I'm confused. What is her problem? What am I supposed to do? I can tell you what she's doing, man. She does not want to see you happy. You're not supposed to be happy without her. That is, she is a true narcissist, okay? She cheats on you. And then after she cheats on you and you guys break up, she's rubbing it in your face. She wants to destroy you. 
whatever whatever happiness or anything you got going for yourself she wants to take it away from you and that's a lot of people i've dealt with somebody like that before man it, it, it's painful it's, it's hard to believe that someone can be that evil but they truly are and they know certain things hurt and they know it hurts you and she'll keep doing it look you have panic attacks she knows about here she is hope she comes to see you when you have another paranoia episode really that's not something to make light of and, and make fun of she it's a, all a joke to her she gives no crap about you she does not care about you at all and she's saying I'll, I'll stay out of the way and all that no she's not dude she's gonna she's gonna whatever whatever way she can she's gonna stalk your social media like no other she wants to know about this new little princess she's referring to her as she wants to know about this new girl she wants to know is she better looking than me is she does she is she are they going out on dates are they going out on better better dates are they vacationing what is it about her does not want to see you happy man and i can tell you this it doesn't i don't know if you guys were married did it say anything about that look good thing you're not with her anymore she showed you who she was stay away so go ahead and block her on that twitter and whatsapp and all those platforms she doesn't exist anymore she doesn't she doesn't ex forget her move on and i i know i know what you've been through man it's like especially if you guys were together for a long time it hurt to see her move on to somebody like she, or she cheated on you or whatever but once you start to focus on yourself and you just start meeting other people and you're like there's more people in this world i'm not about to focus on this woman and and, and if you were in my boat in my shoes you're thinking man, i got so much for myself i need to get done i'm not worried about it and like there's things that help you get over it so it sounds like you're you're definitely on your way to getting over her and moving past her just go ahead and block her on that twitter whatsapp and all those other things too please she's not worth your time she's a piece of crap she's a narcissist and she wants to destroy you don't let her do that don't let her do that i want to see if he's in the comments guys let's check out the comments Someone said, her problem is she just realized she can't keep you on a leash anymore. Then you can keep her on one. She's unhappy with your autonomy and is trying to draw you back in by guilting you. Yep, and don't let her do it because she's going to bring you back in only to destroy you. Don't let it work. See, what it, see it for what it is. There's a good chance she will get more upset. Just ignore her. Don't let her get a rise out of you. Nope. Someone else said agreed 100%. She liked knowing that she was with another dude and also could keep you in her life just in case. Yep, they do that, guys. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. They they will. They'll rub it all in your face and text you every once in a while just to see if he, you'll text back. Oh, he's still there. Don't be that guy for her. She invites you out somewhere. Nope. Busy. It don't don't even respond nothing leave it alone but just in case it doesn't work out with her current guy she's fishing for you to stay in contact with her and is also telling you to your face that she thinks the only reason you'd cut contact with her is because someone else is making you rather than you wanting to do it yourself cut this manipulative leech out of your life for good i know it's easier said than done but you can do it good luck op someone said yep he needs to just ignore the message She's waiting for OP to say, no, it's not like that at all. I'll add you back on social media. Oh, wow. Yep, it's ridiculous. Ooh, I like this one. She is being helpful by kindly reminding you that you still have her on Twitter and WhatsApp so that you can block her there as well. Absolutely. Block her, like I said, on everything. She does. She's dead to you, man. girlfriend female 20 years old cheated on me male 21 with her best friend he starts with during the summer break my girlfriend cheated on me with her best friend 
all the while keeping me in the dark and the general communication was zero. We came back to college and I started hearing dumb things and excuses that led to fights like, you kiss differently, you've changed, you're not who you were, projection. I haven't changed a bit, it's just that something felt off. One day we had an event in college and we had a lot of fun. The same night I got a call from her. She was crying and she told me how she cheated on me with her best friend for about three months. She told me how she realized she truly loved me. I don't like shouting on people or fighting so I immediately cut the call and didn't want to talk further. She started bombarding me with calls. I picked up one call and told her that I didn't want to talk right now and was in no mood to discuss this further. She kept calling me. Now her friends also joined in. I was getting messages and calls left and right. She was crying and not eating. Finally, I had to pick up the call. She was crying profusely and asking me why I wasn't talking to her. She kept saying I love you, but I couldn't bring myself to reciprocate. I told her I wanted to break up, but that blew the lid off of her and she started crying very loudly. I somehow convinced her to eat something and not cry. She kept saying she only wanted me and nothing else, but my trust was shattered. She made me meet her the next day, although I didn't want to. I told her I wanted a break, and it'll be a long time before I was normal again. She just kept crying and asking me not to do this. She kept saying I love you, don't do this, etc. After a while, I thought maybe I was being too dramatic, and told her I can't trust her anymore. She said she would do anything. I could only tell her I can't do this. She kept pushing me. Me and my ex were really good friends. We broke up on mutual terms and would talk once in a while. She had a problem with me talking to my ex and made me block her. Finally, I was asking her to choose between me or her best friend. I'm not someone who does something like this, but she used to hang out with him and leave me behind. Talk to him and not answer my calls at times, but I trusted her fully. She said she wants to be with me. She made it a point to show me she blocked him. It was all well and good until about a week later when I saw she was talking to him on Instagram. I was hurt. I had started to trust her again to some degree. I immediately confronted her and she blocked him again, but I wasn't having any of it. She started crying and begging me. After a lot of this, I still agreed to be with her. Now yesterday again, I saw this guy's chats, never checked her phone. She was showing me something on Instagram and confronted her about it immediately. She started telling me how her friend wanted to hurt himself and this and that. I called the guy directly and talked to him in front of her and told both of them that I wasn't okay with it and that she will have to choose. Now, somehow my girlfriend told me I was being controlling by asking her to choose. And at that point, I had had enough. I was asking her to take her stuff and go to her place. Now, I thought talking to one of her friends who was quite reasonable was a good idea. I called her friend up in front of her and she told my girlfriend to do what she thought was right. Then she took the phone off the speaker and I was like, this involves me, I would like to listen. At this point, she started leaving the room. She had already packed her stuff, so in anger, I told her that if you leave, just don't come back. At this point, she made up her mind about the breakup and proceeded to take her stuff and walk out the door. It was pretty late at night and I didn't want to let her go in, go in an unsafe situation. I chased after her and said I'd give her a ride. She refused, but I insisted. Finally, she agreed. At this point, she had told her friends and her best friend that we've broken up. But during the ride, she held on to me and started crying, asking me if we were really doing this. I didn't have an answer. What do I do, guys? To sum everything up, girlfriend cheated on me with her best friend, but still talking to him behind my back and against my wishes. Wow, let me get my thoughts. Yeah, man, it is it is very hurtful when you find out that your girl is talking to somebody, right? And she hits you with, he's just a friend. You guys know the biz marquee. He's just a friend. Don't worry. He's just a friend of the family. Don't worry. Nothing to worry about. And then you find out, you see some other messages where they've been talking very inappropriately. And you like you're like, hey, cut this out. And she blocks him in front of you. She tells you, oh, I blocked him. I'll never talk to him again. And somehow he pops up again under a different name or, you know, um, his name is taken off of the contacts and it's just the number. But you remember the number. She's still talking to this guy. It, it's a very bad feeling. 
that someone can just sit there and lie to your face. They're just a friend, nothing to worry about. Okay, I'll stop talking to them. And they're sneaking behind your back to talk to them. And you're just like, what is it about this person? What is it? If you want to go be with him, go be with him. You know what I mean? Like, leave me alone. <laughs> it's really stupid. It all has to do with a lot of women want men for certain things. Truth be told. Say there's five major things a woman, a woman wants. Okay, he gives me three to four of these things. I want this guy, but this, this one thing I have to have still, I'm going to go get it from another man. Or he gives me two of these five things and another man gives me two. There's still another man I need to get something else out of. I get need to get that one thing from. It's very unfortunate, man. Like she came clean to you and told you and you had a decision and you said, Hey, I'm out. I can't do this. You hurt me. I don't, you're with other guys even with your best friend who you told me was just your friend. And she begged and she cried and she begged and she convinced you to give her a chance. And she got caught lying again. I can tell you right now, she's never going to get rid of that guy. There's something about him she loves and she has to have. I don't know what it is. It could be sexual. It could just be conversation. It could be a number of things. There's something about him she has to have. He's never going to go away unless he walks away. So in my opinion, and you do have an update, I hope you left her. I, I hope you walked away. She is not worth it, dude. She's not worth it at all. She's not going to change. But uh, guys, like I said, he has an update. So let's go ahead and check out this update. All right, one year update. My girlfriend, female, 20 years old, cheated on me. I'm 21 with her best friend. Update. Hey guys, so I wanted to provide an update and thank my fellow Redditors. I took the advice and broke up and realized that the relationship was really sucking the life out of me and was the worst thing in my life at the moment. Since then, I have met someone who understands me and cares for me. There's no drama. Well, I once ate the last pizza slice and she got pretty angry, but yeah, that's the level of drama. We support each other and she makes me a better human all around. Because of my ex, I wasn't able to focus on my studies and the breakup combined with the pandemic gave me an ample time for studying and I landed an internship at a big bulge bracket company. And also I'm working on a few personal projects that I love spending time on. The pandemic also gave me time to realize that I was with the wrong person. And I love many others who love me, be it my family, friends, etc. I feel really liberated. Today I was looking back at what used to be. And I remember that this subreddit was the trigger point for the change in my life. So thank you and all of you are awesome. It's because of you I've gone from crying nights to happy days. To sum everything up, I took the advice of fellow Redditors and broke up with my ex and spent probably the best year of my life. Nice. Salute to, salute to this subreddit, guys that are giving great advice. I want to say salute to you guys on YouTube too. When I do these stories and when anybody else, any other channel does stories like this, and whether it's an email, you guys give great advice. You do. Some some advice is hard. It's, a, it's nothing wrong with, you know, it's nothing wrong with tough criticism. You know, um, there's gems in it. A lot of you guys drop gems. Salute to you guys that go into the comments and you're really there to, I want to help some guys out. Let me, let me know what you, let me, let me tell you, give you some advice. Let me share my story. Let me give a quick story and how I learned from something. You guys are awesome. People, you guys really help people out. You know, and that's why I love seeing you guys in the comments and, and doing what you do. Um, let's go ahead and check out the comments on this update. Guy, you ate the last slice? You'd better be glad she's not coming here for advice on what to do about you. Seriously, though, glad things are going well for you. <laughs> uh, he responded, I'm, I'll always be watching over my shoulder for the day she takes her revenge. <laughs> Someone said, so glad you are happy. Congrats on the new relationship and the internship. Have a Merry Christmas and fantastic New Year. He responded, uh, Merry Christmas and a joyful New Year to you too, laddie. Someone said, good for you, OP. I hope you are happy and I'm glad everything worked out. Someone said, killing it on the career front was the best comeback you could have achieved. 
It's only up from here. He responded, I just want to take care of my family. My father has done everything for me while sacrificing a lot. I'd love to give back. Nice, man. We, we've been saying the last two, three videos, and a lot of you have been saying in the comments, the best revenge is to just become a better person. And I'm glad he got rid of that dead weight, man. Like, she was just bad for him. Like, she went, she, she went out of her way to cry and beg him to stay, only to continue cheating. You don't have time for that. She's on games. Go let her play games by herself. Uh -uh. I'm glad he got rid of her. He got rid of her and look, he elevated. Nice. Someone said, my girl went from needing space time alone to deal with her anxiety, depression, to being with another dude. Oh yeah. I respected her, gave her space and here I am. I really wish I can turn things around like you did. I'm happy for you. He responded and said, look on the bright side. What if you were still with her and didn't know she could do this to you any day? That is behind you now, my man, and the only way is forward. You will turn things around. I believe in you. Absolutely. Salute to that guy who wrote that comment and salute to you for replying to him with such motivation. Man, we need that. We need to motivate each other. We need to help each other out. We need to be there for each other. A lot of women, a lot of women will do that. Oh, I just need a break. When they hit you with, I need a break out of nowhere, there's another guy. Women, women don't like to move on. If there's not somebody else to move on to there's another guy she wants to go give another guy a, an opportunity to prove himself that he will give her whatever she wants and if he proves himself to be able to give her whatever she wants and she can have him wrapped around her finger she's going to leave you she's going to jump to the better deal but if it doesn't work back she'll be right back man don't fall for their tricks that i hope that guy took your advice man um and um don't feel down on yourself. You're good. You got rid of some, some, somebody you did not need. Someone said, living well is the best revenge. And he replied, words to live by. Someone said, if she cheats, it's over. No exceptions. I agree.